Thank you for joining the American Marketing Association podcast series. I'm Clara Chun, your host. Joining me today are Todd Coates and Shane Johnston. Todd is Associate Director for Brand and Creative at the Association of International Certified Professional Accountants. And Shane is Principal at Market Position Strategies. Todd and Shane are also the Advanced Branding and Positioning Instructors. Welcome. Thank hey, you. Good to be here. How can marketers effectively brand position when their target audience is just flooded with messages? Uh, well, Clara, this is Shane. I'll go ahead and take that one. And, um, you know, I, I'll tell you what, branding is easy. I mean, you can choose a position and you can choose whatever uh, tactics you want around the brand and communicate. But the truth is effective branding that hits a memorable emotional chord with your audience is actually more difficult than it has ever been for marketers. Um, you know, the average person in a, in a mid-sized city uh, is now hit with around 10,000 advertising messages every single day, and we don't even know what's happening, right? We're just flooded with messages and branding and all that, and it's just we just go about our day. Nothing really sticks out, or it's occasionally something may stick out. And customers in, in like both B2B and B2C environments are inundated with these messages through countless online and traditional media channels. We've seen a great fragmentation of, of marketing communications channels over the years. Um, so what we're going to do is kind of cut through all of that and, and simplify, but on a strategic level, take a deep dive on what we like to call the three tenets or guidelines for establishing an effective brand position. And those three tenets are that a good brand position is ownable, is valuable, and is memorable, and we'll do a deep dive on each of those. Um, we believe that this approach um, will help position an organization's uh, or a company or a product or a services brand um, to resonate with its target audiences and, and you know, eventually create the feelings and actions that, that you desire. Can you share with us what did you mean by advanced when you developed this branding and positioning program? Uh, this is Todd. I'll take that one. Well, um, Claire, what we were thinking is we would use a lot bigger words and wear like mortar board hats so we look like professors. <laughs> but actually, no, what, we'll, what we'll do is we'll learn how to use data and information to develop customer insights um, that serve as the foundation for any brand and positioning strategy. This is something both Shane and I feel really strongly about. And this workshop covers the science and the art of branding. Um, and as folks that are listening to this know that it, it's a process, that science and the art is a process for arriving at a position. And then we'll help uh, share some tools, help by sharing some tools for developing that brand expression that accurately reflects the position. Um, the participants will learn how to arrive at a brand strategy, as Shane said, that's ownable, valuable, and memorable, uh, and to develop those elements for expressing such as the design, the colors, the tone, uh, the voice, the images. And then we'll cover brand activation through integrated marketing communications planning and employee activation, which is increasingly more important. Uh, and then finally, we'll certainly learn how to measure the effectiveness of the brand and position campaigns. So then tell us what are attendees going to walk away with? Uh, well, I tell you, uh, all organizations, um, we, we have a tendency to focus on you know, for-profit businesses, but all organizations, multinational corporations, small businesses, associations, nonprofits, universities, whatever, um, we all do communications and positioning, and, and then we take action on that. Um, but the truth is it's the customers that do the branding. And, and only when we communicate and the customers interpret that communication the way we want them to, when those two match, boom, success, right? Um, the brand actually at that point becomes a true reflection of the organization. Sometimes people like to say that um, companies have lost control of their brand. I don't tr truly believe that. The truth is, is that companies can control their communications and they can control the way they act and the way their people act. Um, and then when people or their customers interpret that in a way that they want, that an organization wants their brand to, to look like, that's when it's truly successful. And so that's, that's one of the key takeaways that we're going to, um, to uh, present. Um, the key drivers within the organization or a company, um, the industry, the competitive environment, um, all these things help define brand positioning. We're going to look at that. And we'll look at a big picture too. 
um, we've got to remember that people aren't out in the world looking for your brand, and they're, and they're certainly not looking for your brand and saying, hmm, what does that mean to me, right? It's all reactive. Um, we'll look at the big picture and say, you know, how do social, um, political, cultural influences impact uh, strategic branding? Right, and so you're so you're telling me people aren't out there looking for my brand chain? So no, oh, they actually well, are not. I mean, what, In okay. fact, okay. lots so, of them don't even care, Todd. <laughs> <laughs> you're talking specifically about me now. Let me add to that. Look, I think I think what you said is perfect. Let me add though um, that the participants will also come away with uh, how to distill insights. Um, as I mentioned just a few minutes ago, those aha moments from data and information to create an emotional connection with audiences and drive action. This could be for B2C and B2B marketing. Um, And again, you'll learn to express that brand positioning in unique, ownable ways through design and content, color, shapes, images, tones, other creative elements that accurately portray that position. Uh, One other thing that um, I don't want to forget that's really important about the advanced workshop is that uh, we will develop guidelines, uh, help develop guidelines for the brand through uh, the uh, templates and organizational uh, means that we have in creating those. So you get to see how your organization, your products, your service positioning will all come together to create a consistent customer experience. And, you know, finally, also, when we go through all of that tactical implementation of a brand, we can't forget, we don't drop the ball there and say, okay, we're done. Um, you have to put together a good communications plan. And, and by the way, and Todd hinted on, at this earlier, let's not forget the most important reflection of our organization's brand, and it's its people, its employees, um, and their actions um, often determine how, how the customers interpret the brand of an organization. So when we talk about a communications plan, we're going to be looking at creating internal and external communications plans um, and determine how those communication plans um, can impact the effectiveness of brand and and measure brand effectiveness uh, overall. Well, thank you both so much for your time. For more information on advanced branding and positioning, please go to www.ama.org forward slash training series.